Good morning. We're running a little slow this morning. And now we're living the lifestyle of being a guide with Saint Skinner. And somehow, bless his heart, this guy gets up 5.30 every single morning, rides all day long, goes to dinner with clients, goes to bed, does it again day after day after day. And the next two days, we are getting drug along. I'm gonna capture exactly what that lifestyle is all about and see if we can hang, so. Oh, I forgot. We also have a really <laughs> random guest this time. Hello. Roscoe. So for the next two days, we are in the SS Freeride lifestyle with a special guest though. So I think the clients are gonna be pretty stoked. They don't really know Ross is here. I think they actually did some BBA stuff in the past. So they're probably familiar with him and now here he is randomly in Afton, Wyoming. Anyways, wish us luck today. Yeah, we're gonna need it. Hi buddy, how are you? I'm swell, how are Another you? cold day in Wyoming. This is warm, I see it's almost almost double digits. Yeah, it's like 7 degrees today, so it's, yeah. it is warm for us. Yeah. yeah. We're usually here about 7. We do breakfast 8, 8.30, depending on how long the days are. Get up on the hill about 10 o'clock ride until they say mercy, or we ride until about an hour before it's dark. So, you know, right now it's getting dark about six o'clock, so no matter what, we're heading home at five. No matter how good the snow is, no matter how good people are feeling, we go home. I like being out there in the dark. I got my specific reasons. I've been out there in the dark a lot, so we go home before dark, no matter what. Uh, usually five to six days a week riding, and then another day wrenching every week for like five months straight. And then like another month, maybe on each side of that for set up and tear down. Gnarly. Yeah, dude, it's seasonal intensity for sure, but it's fun, man. Like the guys today, they're repeat customers. They brought some buddies with them, which is super cool. And just take them out, have fun with them, teach them something. We can all tease Trent. I'm sure they'll love that, and it'll be a good day. Hey, but you could be in a cubicle, so. I don't think I'm ever gonna be in a cubicle in my Count your life, lucky bro. stars, Sane. <laughs> no. Pretty Caroline. are high. I'm excited to see Saints program and I'm excited for you guys to see Saints program. Um, so we always like to do search mode first. So we check, check the beacons. Um, we'll check their beacons and then we check my beacon. And we've seen uh, a couple malfunctions before, um, twice. Um, we had to get them uh, new beacons before we went out and rode. But uh, cool. yeah, we I'll just take extra precaution with this stuff. We don't mess around with it at all, so. I use, look at the, so this is a little nice hole. My beacon, I can get up into my harness from here. Hack. way like I do okay that was good though you didn't get stuck you turned your head you're reading momentum and you went down that's way better off than getting stuck because you conserve a lot more energy good job man I came into it way too slow but I was out I didn't let out like for the last hundred yards <laughs> So if you come to SS Free Ride, free tune-ups. You also get 
a full-time on-hill mechanic crew. <laughs> and this is our only hammer. <laughs> You guys are familiar with snowmobile parts as a secondary along with the jack shaft in the middle of nowhere. Are you going to give them that five star Yelp review also? Absolutely. <laughs> Recap me. We were broken and now we are fixed. <laughs> Stuff and your whole back didn't come out of the air snow probably like three feet. Yeah. You didn't break your visor or anything? No. Every time I do that, I split a helmet in half with a cantaloupe. <laughs> we call that hashtag rowdy. <laughs> uh, snow's been pretty dang good. I think the guys learned something. I think they had a little bit of fun, which is always good. We're snowmobiling, man. It's gonna be fun. Go learn some more, get stuck some more. Great day. Awesome. <laughs> it is a super exciting day. I'm like always stoked to ride sleds, but I'm extra, extra pumped today. We got Sane Skinner, um, one of his guides, and we're gonna go ride the 2022s uh, quite a while before they're released. So at the time that you guys are watching this, you're gonna see them, they're gonna be out, but we're pretty pumped to get some time on them. Sane's pumped, the whole group's pumped. The vibes are through the roof. It's gonna be a good day. It's blue sky, fresh snow, like the stars have aligned. So let's do this. This is like my third fun day riding this year. Where's the stoke level at today? I just got largest headliner dirty with my hands, but it's up here. Very excited. We are gonna go ride snowmobiles that technically don't exist. And it's probably some of the biggest news since I've been with Polaris in the last like 13 years. What do we have in here? Got the nice super secret bra on it. Super secret, man. Keep your lady nice, dress her up. Area 51. <sighs> Sorry, let's look out of the way. Oh, you're good. You guys ready to do this? I'm already, dude. I am so excited. All new gear. Couldn't even sleep last night. New slide. Christmas all over again in February. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely the best part. It's just like, I mean, it's better than Christmas, man. This is like Christmas for adults, right here. Let's rip it off! What is that? Well, yeah, Mars, buddy, what do you got you over here? You ready for this one? Yeah. Are you? Cue the sexy music. Well, uh, I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna show you. How's that sound? Oh snap! Super fun. Just a ride, man. I've been a turbo guy forever. It's pretty cool for people to be able to get it with a warranty now. And uh, it's a ride, man. Super fun. feet higher than my house. <laughs>
we could ride up the hill. That'd be easier than walking, wouldn't it? We kind of, it was a day off, but we kind of got our butts We handled. kind of kicked our own butts. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we had fun doing it. We had a lot of fun. I think it's time to cover these up, take them down the trail, and yeah. you probably should go work tomorrow. Dude, me and David have to ride like, good. We're, we're yeah. literally yeah. going to have to drag okay. you. <laughs> Behind behind the slide. <laughs> oh, oh, man! <laughs> <laughs> I got you! Hey. Oh, sorry. Quiet. <laughs> Trying to have a conversation. Ah, on the boost machine, this is how you properly dress them. You start with the nose. And then you go to said A arm here, like so. You wrap the long one around the A arm, like this. You put the chocolate on the gram. <laughs> And then you ride back the trailer really, really fast and pray that no one sees you. Let me, let me be clear, yeah, these, yeah, these yeah. platforms are absolutely phenomenal. We had an absolute blast on them. We all just have had about a week off right now and this was day one is getting on something brand new. They absolutely rip. Dude, they're freaking great um, sleds. People they're are gonna be sleds. so stoked to get their hands on them, but they also kicked our butts today, but in the best way possible. We kind of kicked our own butts today, but it was still a super huge amount of fun, dude. It was a blast. Yeah. There you have it, episode four. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. As always, do not forget to like, subscribe. This is just the beginning. We're only on episode four. We got a lot more episodes coming. The next episode, we're gonna head back up to Canada, the Great White North. Mike Reeves heading out with Nadine Overwater, who is an absolute ripper on a sled. As a reminder, Nadine currently has a 509 contest going on for all you lady riders out there called 509 Women of Winter. All you gotta do is use the hashtag 509 Women of Winter post a 10 to 20 second clip on Instagram. We're gonna pick the winner in the next episode and there's some awesome prizes, including a full head to toe kit. So do not forget to enter that contest, ladies. Guys, get your ladies involved, get them out there, get them recognized, get them some fresh new gear. We will see you guys in two weeks.